Hey everyone, this message is going to be for Cancer for the mid month of October for Liv. So if this message resonates, then great. If it does, doesn't, well, <laughs> then just leave it behind, okay? Alright, we're going to do your present moment into your near future. And then we're going to see how you feel about whoever you're thinking of and how they feel about you, okay? Alright, present moment for Cancer. Cancer for the current moment. Alright. Oh, and then near future. More for near future for cancer. Okay, so current moment we have the Nine of Wands, the Empress, the Nine of the King of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. So, in your vice is the Five of Swords. So it's you're advising you to stay out of your head. There's probably a lot of conflict, but because this is the advice. It's advising you to not dwell on something that's happened to make you feel like you're really torn in your head. There's a lot of mentality, like conflict going on where you can't even think straight, basically. It could be with a King of Pentacles. It could be a Virgo. Um, the Empress could be Taurus. So it's like you've put in a lot, a lot of time. I feel like you're, you're guarded about something. Um, Yeah, because the Knight of Wands, or the Nine of Wands, you know, it's like you're being defensive, de defensive with this person. Cards are blowing. Defensive with this person, and it's like they may be coming at you with an offer of a lot of love, but it's a lot of, you know, because there's a lot of bullshit. There's Five of Wands, a lot of conflict. It's fighting, bickering, arguing, you know. So I feel like this person brought you a lot of conflict, chaos. But I feel like you have a lot of love for the person, but you're like on guard with the person. Don't know if you want to go there. You've been there, done that with them. And then to the near future, we have the world, the Ten of Wands, and the Three of Wands. So the world and the Ten of Wands, you know, it's like you're closing out a cycle, some kind of karmic cycle you've been with a person. Here it's like, you know, you've invest you've you know, you've invested the time, you've picked up all these burdens along the way. You're laying down the burdens. And you're being guarded because possibly, you know, the person might, be, you know, you might be waiting on this person for a new offer with the person. Because here we have the seven, or the nine of wands, you know, you're like guarded. If you look at the picture, you're guarded. And here, you know, we're getting to the ten and the three that equals the seven. So that's like, you know, you're guarded against something, maybe an offer that's coming in with the person. So your advice is the magician and the queen of cups. So just know who you are know that you are the queen of cups and you are manifesting what whatever it is you desire if you want this person back in your life you'll have this person back in your life if you don't want to have this person back in your life then you won't be having this person back okay but i feel like it's the it's in your hands but because you know the the world card and the ten of wands was there it's like you are closing out a cycle with the person so it could be just you're closing out with all the burdens, you know, we had the conflict, all the mental bullshit that's going on. So, you know, it could just be that you're finishing one cycle with the person and kind of moving into another with them, okay? So how do you view this person? How does Cancer view this person that they are thinking of? And how do they view you, Cancer? Okay. 
again, we have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. So you're really, you know, you're probably communicating with a person that you are wanting to, you know, possibly, like, work together on a partnership because, you know, you're waiting, but it's like you're waiting to hear from them, and it's, you know, Eight of Pentacles is, like, putting in the work. So you see that this person's hardworking, possibly. Um, there's no cups here. But wands are a lot of passion, and we have a lot of wands here, so it's like you could be passionate about this person, you might be passionate about, it, you know, communication and maybe going out with this person again, and, you know, you're waiting for that communication to come in, and it's like you're ready to work on this partnership and, like, put in forth the effort if they come back with an offer, okay? And then they view you. We have the world, the hermit, the ace of pentacles, six of wands, and ten of wands. So, they see you as a karmic, you could be dealing with a Virgo, they see you as an opportunity, something that could grow with them, they want, they possibly want something to grow with you, they see you as victory, ace of pentacles, you know, they see you as somebody that goes above and beyond, you know, the hermit in the world, like, they might think, view you as carefree or independent. You know, they view you as a person that has a shit together, like, you, you're just so carefree and, you know, like, light-hearted spirit. You might even be, like, a gypsy-type person, you know? And they love that about you. I feel like they like how you're so carefree. And they want to offer you a new opportunity. And it's saying, you know, the Six of Wands is like a yes card to me. It's like, yes. I feel like if you guys go around this time, I feel like things will be different as long as you both put in the effort because I feel like possibly you didn't put in the effort with the person or vice versa, okay? Alright, let's go ahead and get a romance oracle for you. For cancer for mid-month. we got three. Finances and career. Financial issues are your factor in your love life right now. So that might be a factor for somebody. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So, you know, I feel like when you love yourself first, you know, new opportunities, new love can come in and, you know, that's when things can really get really good for you, okay? So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.